Yellow everybody, I am Jack, aka Your Comedy Dude. Thank you so much for joining. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Today, we are showing clips from a past live stream, which we do on Twitch every Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. for just chatting with me and Mrs. Common. Mrs. Common has six years experience recruiting, and what we did was answer questions from chat and also look through a couple resumes to determine what makes a good one. So stick around. Um, it is frowned upon probably in America only because um, we're not supposed to discriminate, you know, um, sex, race, gender, um, ageism, all that stuff. So um, in America is probably frowned upon um, in any parts of the any other parts of the world, possibly not. Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing I think is um, probably don't lie about your dates of work um, because when references when we call for references and they're like oh okay he only actually worked for us three months and not the three years that he says on his resume that is definitely a big wow that's if he's gonna lie to us right off the bat then obviously he's not going to be um, a very trustful employee That is a slight red flag um, because then you do, one of the things that I am really interested in when I'm interviewing somebody is um, why did you leave that last position? If you were with them for three years, what, what happened to made you leave? And when I'm, um, I put myself into, uh, into you know, that person's shoes, like why did I leave? And of course you never want to bad mouth your previous employer because then uh, that also is a red flag to your uh, potential employer to say, well, this person's really going to bad mouth me if we part ways. So you can say things like, well, um, uh, th there was a, a bit of a culture change and I didn't see, I didn't envision myself uh, with this company uh, long term because there was a, a different in um, uh, beliefs and I just didn't feel as though I could uh, be of full effect uh, to that uh, particular client um, employee if I were to, to stay. Have the spacing, have it um, uniformed so that um, it just, it, it, it makes sense. There's, I know that sounds really awful, like have some spacing here, there should probably be a gap here as well. Uh, education definitely goes at the bottom of the resume, by the way, guys. Put um, your know, education uh, last and put your experience up top. So this one, I was just saying, it's really dull, but the thing I do like about it is if you are in uh, engineering or like this guy is uh, construction, wiring, electric electrician, um, I like how um, it's got here, for example, the type of um, equipment that he's used, that he's uh, familiar with, uh, the duties that he performed, because that makes complete sense in regards to an, an electrical helper. You want to know that he has has uh, that experience, um, he has the right jargon and um, <clears throat> in regards to that industry. So um, other than it's being, it's really dull and um, there's not enough spaces perhaps, um, otherwise I like the, the actual content. Uh, now having it as a block like this, uh, it's too much of a, what we would call prose. Um, I like seeing um, bullet points personally only because it just it gets to the point it's showing me hey I can do this I can do that and I don't have to read a story about you so uh, keep it to the point um, so concise and yeah exactly really concise this resume is a little bit schizophrenic in that it's got you know uh, single spacing here but double spacing here, all right, it doesn't look good, okay? I like the, the color, the little, you know, dash of color, kind of stands out a little bit, but this whole um, um, having too much spacing here versus having it together there, and it kind of, this one would also send me a little bit alarm bells because if you take a look at his um, experience, to be fair, this is for lasers um, and certain uh, types of machinery, um, which isn't Word, to be fair, or, um, you know, MS Word, uh, but if he's supposed to be, um, what's the word, uh, technically inclined, 
uh, I'm like, uh, why can he not um, have a resume that is a lot more unified? Um, so I like the skills at the bottom here. The skills are helpful, um, uh, especially if he is going to go in for a technical position. But again, for the contents, definitely uh, for this guy, for example, he knows how to use uh, certain pieces of machinery. Um, if that's the position he's going for, then um, really uh, important information to put in here. Um, if again um, he is a technical person or is a project manager, uh, talk about certain projects that you've been on or if you save the company money, um, always boast about that. Numbers yeah, and money, figures, money. Numbers and figures really uh, helps, especially if you are going to go into a sales role or a, a managerial role or project management. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, this one is more of a, so it looks like he's got a, some military experience. So if you've been in the military, um, definitely put that in, of course, um, because we, we definitely want to help veterans. Um, again, um, aesthetically speaking, put the education at the bottom. Um, it says here that he's uh, been in the National Guard, um, he rank and etc. So the toughest thing about if you have been in the military, um, thank you for your time in the military, um, the toughest thing for me sometimes is to see where we can place you in a civilian capacity um, because it's sometimes hard to transition or understand what you've done in the military that could be very helpful in uh, civilian life. So um, try to kind of if you are have been in the military and have um, mechanical skills, technical skills, of course that can be translated into um, the, the civilian life. We can get you into um, you know mechanical positions, working with your hands. Um, but the great thing about being in the military is that you've had um, lots of structure. You can follow um, directions. Uh, your tend to be very reliable, very prompt. prompt, on time, dutiful. So that's why I say if you have been in the military, uh, put it in uh, in your resume, definitely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Come check out Common Careers on Twitch at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays and hang in with me and Mrs. Common just chatting on Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out with us and we'll see you in the next video.